everyone and welcome back to my channel this week. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're doing well. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out as soon as my next video comes out. And if you like these videos, please give them a thumbs up because that really helps get this out to people. It might also be able to help. So this week, I wanted to have a chat with you about meditation along with depersonalization and derealization because I know I really struggled with this one in the beginning and quite often I would see meditation so helpful for, for things like this or anxiety and things like that and yeah I just really really struggled. So I went on I think it was like a mindfulness course it might have been like maybe an eight week course and in that one of the things that we would do was a body scan and that's quite a common one and i've heard it recommended loads um you know for dissociation and things like this because it can help connect you to yourself now what i found was and i really struggled with it because i didn't feel like i could connect to any other part of my body so body scans will kind of go through all the various different parts of your body and try and you know help you connect to it and see what it feels like and and try and do that non-judgmentally but when you can't connect to anything i really struggled and i would get really frustrated and i would think what is the point point? and in those beginning days it kind of highlighted to me how ill i was and that 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 was really difficult now i'm at the point that i am i can actually do a body scan now so i can lie there or sit there and and be talked through the different parts of my body and I, I can I'd say most of the time mentally connect with those parts of the body which there was a time I never thought that was going to happen but now I can and actually it made me realize the other day just how far I've come to to be able to do that is massive and it's probably one of those things you know you take for granted when you can do it because you don't you know you don't know it's something you could lose so going through that process and i do think that that doing meditations even though you, you don't you don't always feel it in the moment and be like i'm more connected now everything feels real like it just doesn't seem to work like that or it hasn't for me that i do think it's doing something good on the inside now you know i was definitely at the point where i was like i'm not gonna bother because it it's not making me feel anything positive because i was just angry frustrated sad miserable like why do things that make me feel like that but i think now being you know further on with all of this now i do i do think it was doing some benefit another thing that i've really found found meditations helpful for so quite often i'll get to the point where I, uh, i'm getting to burnout so i'm so exhausted like i'm almost too exhausted to sleep or or things like that like so much has gone on i'm like so past the point of being able to relax and i've actually found that doing a meditation or some kind of relaxation you know tape or something like that when i'm in that place doing it before i'm trying to go to sleep i've actually found really helps now there was a time when i had really bad insomnia i don't think i've really talked about this that much but it went on for months and i would get maybe two to three hours maybe if i was lucky two three hours sleep a night and this was months on months and i was still trying to work full time and i still had all this going on and it was really 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 difficult and I'm very conscious now as to how sleep really impacts me and sleep is so important. Like if I don't get enough sleep, I massively feel it the next day. I'm, I'm broken, I'm really broken. And one of the things that I've kind of put into a bit of a weekly routine for me is I will do like a face mask and I'll put like a meditation tape on or a relaxation tape or something like that. And I found recently, where I'm quite tired and a bit burnt out at the moment is I found after it, I'm feeling ready to go to sleep, which is really good. So like when I'm in a good place, I find that the meditations will help me feel like ready for the day and it'd be something I'd do in the morning. But when I'm in a not so good place, like doing them before I go to bed, it's like 
I've given my mind that switch off time to relax, ready to go to sleep. So that that has been so helpful for me. And that's another one really, isn't it? Recognising when in your day meditations might be helpful for you. Because if, if you're someone that's just going to fall asleep to it, then maybe don't do it before something important or you might not get up for it. I also find, so I use it, let me double check this actually, I use an app called, what's it called? Um... It's called Insight Timer and on there it has so many different meditations on there and for all different things and I think when I started meditation I didn't really know I was like what do I do with this am I supposed to be like transported somewhere mentally or like I didn't have a clue and now in my head I say to myself I'm just gonna listen to whatever's being said that's all I've got to do just listen and if I can follow it along Brilliant. Like I give myself the least amount of pressure possible. So if I can find in my day five, 10, 15 minutes just to listen, that that is the extent that I need to put in, we're getting somewhere because it's all progress, isn't it? I think even just five minutes can make so much difference compared to just doing nothing. But with Insight Timer, what I found is that there's just such a wide range of things. So if I'm having a day where I feel anxious, you've got ones for that, or days when I want to feel more confident, or days when I want to feel like I'm worth something, like if I'm feeling really low about myself, or days when I want to calm myself, like there's such a range out there. And I think having that opportunity to pick, I need a little bit of this or a little bit of that, is so good for us. I have tried where you just sit and and breathe with, with no sounds and then a, you know the bell will go off after a certain amount of time but ugh, I'm not there yet I think very much now I'm still in a place where I want something to guide me through um because I think having that little bit of distraction of something connect to really helps me whereas I think right now having nothingness to connect to in just my own mind I think my mind would just be like blah blah blah, blah which don't think would help me as much but I do find that I really enjoy the ones where it's focusing on your breathing as well so maybe counting breaths or slowing the breaths down I really I really like those and I find I find it just calms me um it slows down gives me a little bit of perspective which all those things are so useful I think as well I also use it if there's a particular problem that I'm I'm stuck on I kind of use it as a time to work my th way through that if that makes any sense I kind of talk it through in my mind and and I question myself a lot so I'll be like why do I feel this and then whatever the answer is and why do I feel that and, and keep going through those questions to to kind of see where my mind takes me and that has really helped me to be able to solve some of whatever it is that I'm trying to deal with. So I have really found even, oh, even at those times when meditation really sucked and it only seemed to bring me negativity, I do think something good was going on inside. I really do. And for me, I find when I'm in a routine with it, I'm on it, we're doing it, it's good, it's happening. When I'm not in a routine, that's me in general. Routines work for me, not routines. Most things go out the window. When I'm not in a routine, it just doesn't tend to happen. But I think even if you can fit in five minutes, I mean, if longer, great, 10, 15, 20 minutes, quite often by that point, if I'm if I'm tired, I'll fall asleep. Um, but if we fall asleep, sometimes that is just what we need, isn't it? So that's okay too. So mainly I really do believe that it's doing some good inside, even if we can't feel it in that moment, which is so difficult with DPDR, isn't it? Because you're so detached that you, it's really difficult to be able to recognise any benefits or, you know, anything good that might be going on because you're just not connected to what's going, what's going on. But yeah, I do think it's a good one and... I do think it can help or certainly at least at least for me I, I feel like it has you know even just those five minutes to breathe and just calm down a minute and and center myself and stop letting my thoughts run away it um doesn't solve everything but but I do think it does a little drop of good in amongst it all as well I hope this video helps you I know it is so difficult and as I said you know in those early days I I was not up for it whatsoever it, it just made me feel low 
and miserable and that wasn't what I wanted but ultimately now I'm glad it's part of my life and it is something that you know helps keep me moving forward which which can only be a good thing thank you so much for watching my video I hope you have a good week and I will speak to you all again soon bye